Hello everyone. In this video, we will be adding and subtracting scientific notation and this is the first part. In this part, the exponents of the ones that we're adding are the same. So all of these have the same exponents. Before we go over these examples right here, let's have a review on the basic rule in adding and subtracting scientific notation. Please remember this general rule when adding or subtracting scientific notation. The general rule states that when adding or subtracting numbers in scientific notation, the exponent must be the same. So in this case right here, both of these exponents are the same, both are n, and this one right here are both are n, so then we can go ahead and say that this first expression, we can go ahead and add them together, and in this second expression, we can go ahead and add them together since, again, their exponents are the same. Please remember this, if exponents are not the same, you cannot add scientific notation. So in this first expression that we have right here, we can go ahead and say that we only add their coefficients. So only these two parts shall be added together and then we are supposed to keep their um, exponent parts. So this would come out C plus D times 10 to the power N. So this is the general rule when adding scientific notation. We only add the coefficients and we keep their exponent. When we subtract, it's pretty much the same thing. We are going to subtract only the coefficients. So both the C and D shall be subtracted um, together and then we keep this exponent parts. So this would come out C minus D times 10 to the power n. Again, I kept this exponent part times 10 to the power n. So this is the general rule in adding or subtracting numbers in scientific notation. Okay, so let's apply the rule in adding and subtracting scientific notation in these examples we have so here. So let's start with the first one. So we are given 3 times 10 to the power 4 plus 2 times 10 to the power 4. As you can see, the first thing that we have to look at would be their exponents. So as you can see, their exponents are the same so that we can go ahead and add them together. We Again, we can only add scientific notation when their exponents are the same. So the only one that we're adding would be these two questions coefficients that we have here. This 3 and 2 shall be added together. So I'll put an arrow on both of them. So that's a plus. So that would be 3 plus 2 since the operation in between these two scientific notation is a plus. So 3 plus 2 would be 5. And then that is times 10 to the power 4. Again, I did not change the... Um, exponent since both of these uh, expressions here have the same exponent. So this is the um, sum of these two scientific notation that we have up there. Okay, so let's move on to the second example right here. So we have 4.8 times 10 to the 7 minus 1.3 times 10 to the 7. Again, I look at their exponents and as you can see, their exponents are the same. They both have 7 so that I can go ahead and subtract their coefficients. So that would be 4.8 minus 1.3. These are the only ones that we subtract. So once we subtract uh, 1.3 from 4.8, we get a value of 3.5. So that would come out 3.5 times 10 to the power. I will copy their um, exponent part. That is to the power 7. So this is the difference between these two scientific notation that we have up there. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try these two problems out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem and here. We um, inspect their exponents. They both have the same exponent, which is negative 3. So then we can go ahead and add these two coefficients that we have here together. 5.5. 46 plus 3.12. Again, the operation that is in between them is a plus, so we're adding them together. Once we add this, this will come out 8.58. 
that is 8.58 times 10 to the power. I will copy their exponent that is to the negative 3. Again, this is the difference between these two scientific notation that we have up here. Let's move on to the next problem right here. So we look at their exponents and see if their exponents are the same. They both have the same exponent, negative 8, so we're good to go. So then we are going to subtract these two coefficients that we have here. 2.7 minus 5.2. Again, that's a minus in between them. So when we subtract these two coefficients that we have here, we get a value of uh, negative 2.5. And then that is times 10 to the power negative 8. So this is the uh, difference between these two scientific notation that we have up there. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next examples right here. So we are given 8.5 times 10 to the 6th plus 7.3 times 10 to the 6th. So we are going to inspect their exponent first. They both have the same exponent of 6. So then this means we're good to go. All we need to do is just to add their coefficient. So I'm adding this 8.5 and this 7.3 together. So again, we're adding them because the operation in between these two scientific notation is a plus. So once we add this, this comes out 15.8. So that's 15.8 times 10 to the power, we copy the exponent 6. Now notice that this coefficient that we have here is not in standard form. Remember, this one has to have a value of between 1 to 9.99999 and it repeats. But in this case right here, we have 15.8 that's over 10. So or over 9.9999 and it repeats. What we do is we remember this general rule right here. When the coefficient of a scientific notation is not in standard form, when you move the decimal point to the left, add the number of moves to the exponents. And when you move the decimal point to the right, subtract the number of moves to the exponents. So in this case right here, since we want this in um, standard form, it has to be um, between 1 to 9.999. So then I can go ahead and move this decimal point to the left one time so it's going to sit there so then this means that since i'm moving to the left i will have to um add this so, so again remember going to the left is add and then i moved only one time so i go plus one and that is the number that i add to the six here so that would be plus one right there so then we can go ahead and say that this expression would come out 1.58 times 10 to the power, 6 plus 1 is 7. So as you can see here, this uh, coefficient that we have here is already in standard form. It's between 1 to 9.999. And so that means this is already in its um, standard scientific notation. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, the first step we're going to do is to inspect their exponents if they're the same. Again, if their exponents are not the same, we cannot add them together. So then we can see here that they both have an exponent of negative 7. So then we can go ahead and subtract them um, together. So that would be 9.25 minus 9.16. Again, I am going to subtract their coefficients since the operation in between them is a minus. So when we minus them together 9.25 minus 9.16 the answer is 0 0.09 and then that is times 10 to the power we copy the common exponent which is negative 7 so then from here we can say that this is not in standard form because again remember this value has to be from 1 to 9.9999 and it repeats but this is way less than 1 that is 0 0.09 so then we are going to make it into in standard form by moving this decimal um point to the right all the way to the um, after the first non-zero digit. So I'm going to move it 
twice, two places. And so I move two places. Remember that when the coefficient of a scientific notation is not in standard form, when you move the decimal point to the left, you are going to add the number of moves to the exponents. Well, if you move the decimal point to the right, you are going to subtract the number of moves to the exponent. Since I moved this decimal point to the right, so I'm going to subtract it to the exponent. And then there were two places that I moved to the right, so that would be a minus two. So then I'm going to minus two to this, or I'm going to subtract two from this um, negative seven exponent. So then our expression would come out nine already because the decimal point is already after the nine. So this would come out nine times 10 to the power negative seven minus two is negative nine. So this is the difference between these two scientific notation that we have up there. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!